before, you know, a month ago, a month ago when I stopped playing NCAA, there was no light at the end of the tunnel with this game, bro. There was absolutely no light at the end of the tunnel. It was. It looked like we were going to be playing NCAA 14 for the next 10 years. Let's talk. So before we get into this video, I know there's some people that I need to address. There's gonna be the negative people. There's gonna be the trolls. There's gonna be people that say, ah, you suck. Ah, I told you so. Ah, ha, you failed. And you know what? You're right, I did fail and I'm coming back. But for those of you that have that attitude, I just got one thing, suck my d All right, so now for the rest of you guys that, you know, support almost everything your boy does, you know what I mean? And uh, understand the decisions I make and the choices I make with things and ride out. And for those of you who just, you know, couldn't understand why I will walk away from such a good thing. I mean, you guys could probably already get the gist of where this video is going. You know, with the news we got, what was that earlier this week? New NCAA is coming out. I said the only way I would come back to NCAA is if they announced that they were coming out with a new one. Now, originally with that, I meant I will only play a brand new one. But the week that I quit NCAA is the week that the college revamp mod took the world by storm. And I was skeptical about it. I said, eh, it's nothing but an aesthetic facelift. It's not that deep. It just looks better. It's like putting makeup on an ugly girl. But when I played that the other day, even though it is the same game, it 100% feels different and more immersive. So over the last month, one thing I have learned about myself as a creator, myself as a businessman, myself as a person is me, the person, Justin Thompson Sr. cannot make decisions and do things that will affect Uncle Sam's Reject Gaming, the brand, the business, the content creator negatively. I made personal decisions out of spite and anger towards you guys, the viewers, that didn't necessarily have my head thinking clearly. Now, let me break this down. I talked about it a little bit on stream last night, but I purposely talked about it on stream last night because I knew a lot of you guys want to be in there and you will see it now. So as a creator, right, we're artists. And anybody that creates that is an artist that believes in their art, will tell you that as artists, we are extremely, extremely, extremely sensitive. So when we put all of our, all of our all into an art and it gets spat on by people, we get tight. We feel a way. Now with my NCAA 14 art, widely accepted, everybody loves it. Whenever I post any other type of content, it does a third or a fourth of the views. And I felt the way about it. So what, what my thinking was, you know what? If y'all only want to support NCAA and not support everything else, well, I'm not giving you NCAA. And I can admit now, a month later, in hindsight, that wasn't the right answer. And, you know, I just jumped off of NCAA out of anger. And a lot of you could probably uh, sense that and understand that. It was just like, well, boom, I'm, I'm done with it, blah, blah, blah. And... You know, um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss the game because I still play the game. I just do not post the game. And playing on stream with you guys the other night made me realize I was missing out on a lot for myself personally, you know, to grow from. The way I should have went about the whole situation was taking a step back from NCAA while playing other games and just getting you guys more accoladed to me playing those other games. Um, when I first set out to be a content creator, bro, it was to be a variety content creator. Um, but you know, a few different times, every time I do variety, I get caught up in this tunnel vision where if one thing is working, I just feel like just only that one thing is going to work. And I shouldn't have to try to make the other things work because I'm gonna rely on that. But that is how you get burnout where I was with NCAA 14. So by my decision to move strictly from NCAA 14 to go all the way to MLB, I'm putting myself at risk to have the same exact issues 
with MLB that I had with NCAA 14. Yeah, I can play three different modes of MLB, but I know my personality. If I do the same thing over and over and over again, nothing but it, I'm going to drive myself miserable. Now, does that mean I can't play these games every single day and be happy? No, this does not mean that. But what it means is one thing I've learned about myself and about this whole process as a content creator for me, I don't really know about nobody else. I can't speak on them. I have to work on balance. One thing about me, I have an all in personality. It gets me in trouble sometimes. It does me some good. But what I have to do is sometimes take a step back objectively or ask somebody else to look at things through their eyes, a second set of eyes, a third set of eyes, even a fourth set of eyes, and they can get things, you know, get you to see things more clearly. So, you know, as y'all know, I'm married. I've been married for almost eight years now. You know, my wife is my better half and my wife knows me better than I know myself. Anybody's married out there, you can attest to this and know how it goes. So she could tell that even though I'm enjoying MLB, that I was still missing NCAA. Um, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was like the kid who couldn't go outside for recess, seeing everybody have fun with the mod, but I had too much pride to just say, damn, I was wrong. The mod is dope. Let me play it again. I wanted to be like, nah, I'm not playing the mod. And you know, I was, I was kind of like, I was just like looking out the window, you know, touching the window pane. Like, oh man, I wish I got, I can go outside to play. But I was too busy worried about the negative things I would get from it. The haters, the trolls, the people I often ignore but people are often engaged with too just because it drives engagement on the channel um them <laughs> you know straight up and down uh one thing you guys tell me as my supporters with everything you know i spend too much time sometimes worried about the negative and i don't spend the equal amount of time worried about the positive which is a lot of you guys that big me up that actually you know wholeheartedly miss my ncaa content you know a lot of you want me to post ncaa and y'all want me to post mlb and or whatever else it is that i want to play and you know I feel like I let you guys down, you know, the NCAA guys, like I always am very, very grateful for. And I express greatly all the time in the NCAA community has done me a lot of good, bro. The NCAA community has got me where I was. It is what my channel is essentially built off of. And, you know, I think I took for granted what YouTube analytics say. The YouTube analytics say you guys like NCAA 14, you like Madden stuff, and some of you guys like 2K stuff, but it's mainly NCAA 14 and Madden, football-related content. I love football, but one thing I also love is baseball. And one thing I hope over this last month that I was able to you know, bring to the forefront and help shine through was my love for other sports. Yes, I love college football. Yes, I love you know basketball and, and NFL football, but my favorite sport of all time, period, is baseball. And, you know, whenever I want to post baseball and then didn't do, didn't do well, I would get frustrated. But the, what I'm learning over the last month, a lot of you guys have absolutely no clue, you know, anything about baseball. Of course, you know what it is, but not, a lot of you guys never played it. You don't understand it. You don't understand the rules. You don't understand the terminology I'm, I'm using. And, you know, a lot of those things over the last month I've been taking in, you know, to myself and thinking like, yo, you did something out of spite for one subgroup of people who doesn't support everything you do, but then, you know what I mean? You shat on the other people who support everything you do, but they just like the one thing more. And, you know, I feel like I completely abandoned you guys. And that's another reason why you guys might not watch the other stuff because I kind of just abruptly left you high and dry because the initial plan was to put all the NCAA stuff on a second channel. Then I, I, I backed up from that and said, I'm done with it completely. But one thing I noticed and, you know, um, what, what I have to do is I have to give you guys what you want and I have to give myself what I want. Do what, you know, like what I want is to be a successful content creator. I want this to be, I want this to overtake my main source of income. I'm retired. That's my main source of income, but I want my content creation income to overtake my main source of income and to be, you know, the, the main force that drives in the money that I bring into the house. You know, I, I am the breadwinner as, as the man, and everything like that. And I take care of everything, but I'm trying to take things to a next level. And like I said earlier in the video, I made a decision as Justin Thompson, the individual and not Uncle Sam's reject, the businessman. The businessman of me was extremely stupid, walking away from something just because, you know, uh, it didn't even get hard just because I got bored. But you know, if McDonald's was the 
up and stop selling burgers and fries and strictly start selling pizza and wings, people would probably stop going to McDonald's too. You know what I'm saying? Even even though McDonald's is McDonald's, they probably they probably would be like, eh, I want to get my pizza and wings from somewhere else. You know, but if, when they do things like add wings or if they add pizza, people are still going to go to McDonald's and they can get the cheeseburgers and, you know, the fries. But if they wanted to get pizza and wings too, they can do that. And that's how I have to treat this channel. Yes, college football. That's our thing. We're going to do that. But also, I'm going to post other things, a variety, and you guys are either going to take it or leave it. And a lot of times as a content creator, especially as a person who's growing and trying to do things, you know, you get caught up in the views. It's hard to work on a, a videos the same amount of time. One does this many views and, you know, I mean, one does this many views and one and one does this many views. So it's that's why I said I had to look at things um, uh, objectively and I had to really like, like, wow, like, you know, um, it, it was just dumb. My, like my, I can literally kill my channel off. Now, it's going to take some time for me to get to the point where people are going to be able to watch, you know, whatever I post. But it's very, very doable. And I think my stuff is, is you know, I think my content is entertaining. Um, I know a lot of you guys would agree, but, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was absolutely, you know, uh, a hasty decision uh, for me to just up and leave NCAA. And, you know, sometimes you've got to take a step back. I was burnt out on NCAA, but I've been I've been done playing it for a month and I miss it. And I'm not going to apologize for missing a game that I've been playing for years that I love. And the one of the main things about it is before, you know, before, you know, a month ago, a month ago, when I stopped playing NCAA, there was no light at the end of the tunnel with this game, bro. There was absolutely no light at the end of the tunnel. It was it looked like we were going to be playing NCAA 14 for the next 10 years. And that is the part that I really couldn't, didn't want to see myself succumb to because I felt like, man, maybe I need to get out of this genre because it's going to die soon because the game is getting old. But now with the mod and with the announcement of NC of college football 2023 or 2022, whatever's coming out, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm pushing towards something. I know I have a new game coming. It's no longer just trying to rely on old mechanics, old game, new rosters and me trying to jazz everything up all the time. Do I do a good job at jazzing everything up? I think so. You guys seem to like it. But now, like, this doesn't seem like a dead end route anymore. Like, there's going to be forks in the road. You know, I can choose this path, this path, this path. But, you know, I don't have to, I don't, I don't have to drop things along the way of picking up new things. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what I was trying to do with the NCAA and MLB stuff. But yeah, don't worry. The MLB stuff is not going anywhere. We're still going to be posting MLB stuff. You know what I mean? I'm going to be posting Diamond Dynasty. When MLB The Show drops, I'm going to be posting Road to the Show, Diamond Dynasty. Um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even a franchise. And then if some of that spills over, maybe that's the stuff that goes into the second channel. But I'm also going to be bringing back the main thing that this channel was built off of. And that's the NCAA content that I miss, that you guys miss, that we all love. We're going to run it up together. Once again, I have to say to the haters, F*** you. You know what I mean? It's my channel. I post what the f*** I want. You can say I'm crawling back. You can say I'm this. You can say I'm that. But you is going to be watching this that I post any motherfucking way just to come on here and troll. And then the rest of us that enjoy this shit, we're going to watch it together. And I can't wait to see where we're going to go from there. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Peace.